Previously on Smart Mobility Today, we looked at AV confidence, EVs in the climate, and technology in the workplace. This week's stories include news about AVs and EVs, lots of AI, cleaning the oceans, biking in Michigan, and the future of food delivery. You've got something to say, and we can help you say it. Detroit Media Productions is here for your audio, photography, and video needs. DetroitMediaProductions.com Hi, this is Cindy Polakowski. Volkswagen has developed Level 4 autonomous driving capabilities for large-scale production. The first vehicle manufacturer to do so, the German automaker, will produce on a large scale automobiles that can handle most driving situations independently of a human when operating in a defined area. This includes the ability to operate without people on board at all. Working with tech company Mobileye, VW will begin producing the ID Buzz AD following extensive pilots in Germany and in the U.S. The Mobileye partnership involves the company's self-driving system, which beginning now will be added to the VW ID Buzz AD in development since 2021. In Japan, Suzuki has started manufacturing flying cars. Working in partnership with SkyDrive, the company is developing an all-electric autonomous vehicle called SkyCar. The intent is to use the vehicle as an air taxi in urban areas. SkyCar can take off and land on the rooftops of buildings and comes with autonomous features. The production version of the flying car will be showcased next year in Osaka. The Sky Car will hold two passengers and has a range of 15 kilometers, about 15 minutes of travel, and cruises at 100 kilometers per hour. In the United States, the Environmental Protection Agency has announced new tailpipe emission standards for passenger cars in an effort to cut over 7 billion tons of carbon emissions and air pollutants. Seen as a boost to the Biden administration's effort to promote EVs, the new standards will apply to new passenger cars and light-duty trucks, beginning with model year 2027. In announcing the stricter standards, the EPA said that the actions will prevent premature deaths and reduce heart attacks, respiratory and cardiovascular illness, and asthma. Commenting on the new rules, President Biden released a statement that reads, Three years ago, I set an ambitious target that half of all new cars and trucks sold in 2030 would be zero emission. Today, we're setting new pollution standards for cars and trucks. Looking for better ways to manage your IT, phone systems, or remote workforce? Improve your organization using technology that works for you. PSNTechnology.com The White House has released the findings of the Council of Economic Advisors' annual economic report of the president. A full chapter of the report is focused on AI and how policymakers should respond to its growth. One finding is that about 10% of U.S. workers are in jobs that face the greatest risk of disruption from AI. It also says that less educated and lower income workers are at greater risk of negative AI exposure highlighting the risk that AI could amplify inequality. According to Jared Bernstein, chair of the White House Council of Economic Advisors, quote, if we were thinking about this in health terms, we would be saying, who is most likely to catch the virus and what can we do to vaccinate them? Like other primates, human beings are unique in their ability to learn by watching others. Monkey see, monkey do. Until now. According to the company NVIDIA, a new generation of AI-enabling chips called Blackwell have made possible Generalist Robot 00 technology, or Groot. Calling this the company's moonshot, NVIDIA says that Groot-powered robots will be designed to understand natural language and emulate movements by observing human actions. Quickly learning coordination, dexterity, and other skills in order to navigate, adapt, and interact with the real world. There are some really cool videos available to watch. Check them out. On farms across America, drones and robots powered by AI are cultivating the vegetables and fruit that end up in our homes. 
Last month, the FAA granted Houston-based Hylio an exemption, allowing a single pilot to operate a swarm of drones over farms. Weighing up to 400 pounds each, battery-powered drones can spread pesticides and fertilizer over fields normally worked by human farm workers or crop-dusting planes. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, about 14 million metric tons of plastic enter the ocean every year. And this accounts for 80% of the debris found in our oceans. Now, artificial intelligence is being used to keep the plastics out. Berlin's startup CleanHub has developed an AI platform that allows local waste management services to collect and properly dispose of non-recyclable plastic. Working in coastal areas in Asia and Africa, the company prevents the pollution instead of working to recover it. The company uses an AI-powered track and trace system that allows users to take photos of non-recyclable plastics and arrange a pickup. When the waste is picked up, it is scanned and registered. The app user can track the progress all the way through the process, sorting and incineration as it is converted into energy providing evidence that the plastic doesn't end up in the ocean. <laughs> we will be right back. All right. All right. All right. I'm ready. No, it's fine. All right. I'm ready. More water. I'm ready. All right. But I can give it a go. Presenting. Too many. I did. Hey, okay, so the door. He's white. Thanks. No sense. Okay. Freelancers, gig workers, and entrepreneurs are creating the future of work. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter at WorkShifter.com and follow us at WorkShifter on social media. In my home state of Michigan, mountain bikers may soon be sharing the trails with riders on electric bicycles. The state's DNR is considering opening state park trails that are currently off limits to e-bikes. Class 1 e-bikes, those that require pedaling to engage a motor, are already allowed on paved and asphalt trails and would now be allowed on dirt trails. Class 2 e-bikes, which do not require pedaling and operate at a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour, would be allowed on unpaved and paved trails when operated by a rider who has an impairment and a land use permit from the DNR. The new rules would apply to trails already open to cyclists and public input about the change is being accepted this month. Wing and DoorDash have announced a delivery partnership in the U.S., beginning in Christianburg, Virginia. Some consumers will be able to order items from Wendy's and have them delivered via drone. If the DoorDash online order includes drone delivery, customers will see a Wing drone drop their burgers off within a half an hour. This all follows a pilot program in Australia started two years ago that has expanded to multiple locations in Queensland, involving more than 60 merchants. And more on the topic of food. Rasmus Monk, owner of Copenhagen-based restaurant Alchemist, is working with Space VIP and Space Perspective to create and serve a meal on a space balloon. A top-rated chef, Monk's goal is to create, quote, the first stratospheric dining experience on Space Perspective spaceship Neptune capsule. You can make your reservation for the six-hour event, but hurry as it's limited to six people. The cost, just under half a million dollars per person. According to Chef Monk, this is going to be insane. Read these stories and more at globalautomobility.com and subscribe to Smart Mobility today on your favorite podcast platform. Sign up to receive our weekly newsletter and follow us on social media at Smart Mobility Today. Produced by Detroit Media Productions, this is Smart Mobility Today. Today.